Cubans have a positive outlook on the arrival of U.S. President Barack Obama to the island, hoping that this historic visit will change the perception of the world about the Caribbean country. Muy buena que haya venido aquí a Cuba. Nosotros no hacía falta gente como él que venía aquí a ver a ver a ver a nuestra Cuba, a ver la verdad que tenemos nosotros los cubanos aquí, a ver la revolución que tenemos. Es lo que más me gusta la visita que él que él está haciendo en estos momentos aquí en Cuba. The U.S. president will leave Cuba on Tuesday, having made history not only for being the first president to visit the island in 88 years, but having concluded an important chapter on the road towards the normalization of bilateral relations. I think it's a good moment to clean up a little bit. At the end, the political problems have to go beyond the border and see more. You can see that it affects the development of various countries, and our, for example. Something that was once unthinkable is now reality as the U.S. and Cuba share their experiences and their ways of thinking in a unique historical moment. Nunca me hubiera imaginado ver la bandera norteamericana, como acabo de verlo, y el himno nacional norteamericano en la Plaza de la Revolución José Martí. Me emocionó y creo que lo considero algo positivo, repito, para ambas culturas. On Monday, Obama said that his country wants to be a partner to Cuba, and that the best way to help the island is for the Republican-held Congress to lift the economic blockade which has remained in force since 1962. His visit is intended to strengthen the rapprochement between the two countries after the restoration of bilateral diplomatic relations in July 2015 and after more than half a century of enmity.